Hi everybody and welcome. I'm coming at you today from a beautiful, beautiful lakeside camp here somewhere in Alabama. And it's cold. I mean, it's really cold. It's surprisingly cold. Who expected this in March? But it happens. I thought this would be a good time to talk about 10 things in our minivan camper that we just can't live without. And because we have them, we can continue in the comfort and luxury of 32 square feet. I'm going to add also a bonus on the end. I'll throw in an 11th item that we just can't live without. So if you're thinking about getting into minivan camping, or maybe you're starting your journey now, here's 10 things that we, plus a bonus, that we just can't live without. Here we go. This is the Goal Zero Crush Light. First of all, okay, everything in a minivan camper should collapse down to nothing. This totally does. It checks that box. It also charges, as you can see here, via this little solar panel on top. So really easy, just throw it in a patch of sun or throw it on your dashboard if you're driving around and it does a very good job of charging it up fully. If for some reason you can't charge it with the solar panel or it's rainy that day, don't worry, you can always charge it with this USB port. That's really handy. It has three settings, a high, medium, and a low, and of course it lasts a lot longer if you keep it on the low setting. But if you keep it up high especially, it'll throw some light. It'll cover your whole picnic table or a good part of your camp area. If you can put it up on a tree limb or a pole, it really throws some good light. It's got one swinging plastic handle here. And if that's not enough, I use a little bungee and use that for an extra handle to strap it onto things if I need to. Super handy. This is the LED lights in there. There's no bulbs, there's nothing that sticks out. It's real flat, very compact and powerful. Crush it down. And if you need to hang it somewhere, you can use these little hooks built in on each side. A lot of these cars, this one included, will come with their own USB port, but there's only one and it sucks. It's very slow charging. So as a hack, we just go to the, I guess they used, we used to call them cigarette lighters and now it's an accessory port, but we just got one of these faster speed chargers and of course there's two usb ports you know like in the real world when two people want to charge things at the same time now we can and now it's charging us at a much faster speed so see ya i use the space here behind these shelf supports to put a couple of these little you know plastic baskets I suppose they are from Hobby Lobby or something and they fit really well in here plus it still gives me access to these little handy nooks where I can keep various little things if I need to. Another great storage addition was I took this little Tupperware and I just because there's always little things you know hand lotion and eye drops and uh, earbuds and stuff so if they're handy, I'll use them. And if they're not, I won't. So I built myself some tracks here to hold the Tupperware in. And now I'll use them. On the outside of the van, right here, this little guy, we cannot live without him. There you go. It's just one of those wide angle mirrors. It completely eliminates the blind spot. So huge help. It just gives you that extra sense of, you know, what you're doing out there on the road. And it doesn't even cost very much. Of course, I'm gonna leave a link for everything in the description. You don't wanna always be moving your head from the forward facing position. So for safety's sake, 
and for ease and peace of mind. This little wide view, side view mirror is something we absolutely can't live without. We're lucky enough to have this right side camera built into our Honda Odyssey. When I signal a right hand turn, the camera comes on and gives a clear view of what's right beside the van. Or if I push a little button, the camera will come on without having to signal. It completely eliminates the blind spot on the right side of the van and I don't have to turn my head away from the forward facing position to check for traffic. I realize not every car or van has this built in, but you can add your own cameras to your vehicle and I'll include a link to a camera system in the kit in the description. This roof basket is a workhorse. It allows us to carry these backpacks up here so we can keep dirty laundry and propane gas out of the van interior. I bought it on Amazon, of course, but I wanted to toughen it up. So I got some spray on truck bed liner and I gave it a couple of coats before I installed it on the roof. Installation was really easy. I already had the roof rails in place we have what I consider to be a medium size roof basket and as you can see we still have room to grow if we find more stuff that we just can't live without. Another reason we love the roof rack is that it can hold our solar powered outdoor rope lights. They take up absolutely no space and when it gets dark they light up the roof of the van for us. When we have to find the campground bathroom at night, these lights are our beacon back to the van. To install them, I just ran the lights around the bottom of the roof rack and zip tied them on. So easy. I originally bought a couple of these lights for use in a closet or something, I think, but then I realized what a perfect solution this is for the camper van. It doesn't take up any space and you don't have to turn it on and off every time. It automatically senses both light and motion. So in other words, if it's daylight, it's off. If it's not moving, it's off. But when there's low light, and you swing open the door on the hatch, ta-da, exactly what you need. The only problem I have with this light is that it runs on batteries that need to be replaced. I would normally prefer that everything in the van is chargeable to keep life simpler. I'll add a link in the kit in the description to a light that is rechargeable. Okay, every camper van needs at least one trash bin, right? Yeah, well, even though it's kind of a mundane item, it's still something we can't live without. As a matter of fact, this is our second version of a trash bin. At first, we just put a little bag on the plastic loop that pops up from the back of the console between the front seats, but it kept getting in the way. It was a super pain when you had to get out of bed, especially in the dark. So I claimed some space here on top of the console. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right there. And I got this swanky new trash bin. It has a slot on top so things don't spill out. The whole top Velcros down for easy bag changes. And I used some straps to keep it in place. Yeah. The only problem I had with it was that it would keep collapsing since it's actually made to hang over the back of a seat, not stand up. So to add support, I inserted some rigid, come on now, some rigid plastic pieces. They're just pieces of Tupperware that I cut down. I customized the size I needed and it works perfectly. I don't think I could possibly overstate how important it's been to us that we've had this little fan. 
in our minivan camper. It is responsible for all the airflow through here. When we're camping, we just keep the windows cracked a few inches and turn this guy on and it moves all the air we need it to. It's just, it's not that big a space. It's only 32 square feet in here. So a little fan like this does the job perfectly. One thing I love about it is it clips so you can put it anywhere you like, move it around with ease. I also love that it has a little lithium battery in it, so it's rechargeable. It has actually two different kinds of USB ports. It's got an on-off switch, three settings, low, medium, and high, and it'll show you how much charge you currently have. Sometimes all you need is just a little breeze on your face to bring you ultimate comfort, and this does a really good job. And as promised, here's the bonus item we just can't live without in our minivan camper. If you know me at all, this is no surprise. We can't live without a way to make coffee. We're still trying to figure out what works best for us. We started with a stove and an espresso pot. Then we tried homemade pour overs. We tried instant coffee. We tried steeping coffee bags. We tried a small electric espresso maker. We upgraded that to a small five cup Mr. Coffee maker. And we even spend a ridiculous amount of time trying to find all the best local coffee cafes. Basically, I want something that will make at least two cups immediately without having to drag out the stove and boil water. That usually means we have to plug something in, but we don't always have shore power and we don't have a very powerful battery pack. So I want to ask you, what's your go-to way to make coffee? What did you try that didn't work? And what did you try that did work? I'm looking forward to what insight you have for us. Well, there you have it. All the things that we absolutely can't live without in our minivan camper. Please let me know what you can't live without, what maybe you thought you couldn't live without, but it turns out you can, or if you're just getting going, what you think you're not going to be able to live without. I really want to hear from you. And second, if you like this kind of thing, talking about gear or talking about camper van builds or living full time on the road, why don't you go ahead and subscribe while you're here? Well, great hanging out with you today. Always a good time talking about camp gear. And I'll see you next time.